You sure you want me hanging around? I, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... A hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future. And how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility. Get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. Um? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own. Starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. We'll always be connected. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. <laughs> I am not a cat! Well, you are. Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but... If it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that a newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? Sure. We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki is going to give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? <laughs> Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, th that wasn't <laughs> what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody does! <laughs> All right, whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Oh, great yeah. cheese! Let's grab a ton Aren't of we sushi! Lucky? Sushi! Hello. Sorry for messaging you so late. I just wanted to send you this picture from our first shrine visit of the year. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, it's already March, I can't blame you. 
I've got a lot of mixed feelings about this picture, I guess. That's supposed to be me there, but it just isn't. It really makes me realize how buried I was in Kasumi's identity. Yeah, you've changed now. Right, I'm not going to run away anymore. Actually, there's one more photo I want you to see. It's kind of embarrassing, but this is a photo my coach took of me. The real me, I guess. Training is tough and it's really hard sometimes, but I feel like I'm finally moving forward with my life. I'll support you. When you tell me these things, I feel like I could take on the whole world. Oh, my break's over. I have to get back to training. Talk to you later. Samiri is standing on her own two feet now. We'll fight for our goals too. Um, the 13th of March. Oh yeah, are you ready for tomorrow? What is tomorrow? <laughs> White day. Ah. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And white days when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Mm. <laughs> what should I do? Mm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. That'd be great. Whoa. The chief has an ultimate date plan? <laughs> I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. But it's kinda last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait, what? I'm screwed. Oh, damn it. I don't usually do this, but I know a place. Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing. Chief has connections. So once you're at dinner, you get to talking, enjoying yourselves. And that's when you give it to her. <laughs> the bill. <laughs> well, are you sure about that? There's something you gotta give her, and it sure as hell isn't the bill. The flowers. Remember? Oh right. Covered this before. You need that surprise gift. That ought to do it. Just follow the plan, and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Got it. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant Chief told you about? McDonald's, yes. Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? Uh, dinner for two tomorrow. I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the Chief. I'm a friend of Sojiro Sakura. My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th? Yes. We will have a table ready for you. Dang. 
The chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. I think there was a florist in that underground passage in Shibuya. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, where is the f it's all the way over there, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, what brings you here today? I'm here for a gift. I see. Okay, leave it to me. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on, let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so... <laughs> I need to express appreciation for you, too. I just imagine the cat handing the money over to the shopkeeper. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. Alright, good luck out there. Mm-hmm. I want you to come to Shinagawa. Huh? Um, okay. Thank God you said something. I was getting kind of worried. Today's, well, you know. Okay, let me get changed and I'll meet you there. I should get ready to head to Shinagawa. I met up with Makoto at the aquarium. It's beautiful. I've been to aquariums before, but they never seemed quite as magical as this. That was a long time ago, though. My father took me here once when I was in grade school. My sister would have gone, but I think she stayed home that day. Too busy studying for some exam. <laughs> hey, is this in return for Valentine's Day? Of course. You really didn't have to go to all this trouble, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> Thank you. Makoto seems pleased. Hey, are you hungry? I think we've seen everything here. We could go get some dinner if you want. I already have a reservation set. What? Really? Well, now you've got my hopes up. <laughs> I guess we'd better get going. This restaurant really is lovely. A friend recommended it. You don't say. Sounds like you've got some friends in high places then. If you're trying to be unbelievably smooth, <laughs> it's working. Especially earlier when you went to the staff to get our reservation. You were so composed. That was the most adult I've ever seen you. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry, I need to step out for a moment. When should I give her the gift? Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. What's going on? <gasps> wow! I want you to have this. What? Thank you. S seems unreal, like something that only ever happens on TV. But now that it's happening to me, I I don't know what to think. I'm just so happy. Is it because I don't have experience in these things? Would I know what to say if I dated someone before? Who cares? You're right. I'm so happy right now. Nothing else matters. I guess you planned today out to the smallest detail, huh? Thank you. Really. Now that I think of it, 
This is just like you. Whenever you go to this much trouble, it's always for someone else's sake. I need to start following your example. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, um, hey, do you have to be anywhere after this? I have to be with you. Not really. If not, um, we should spend some more time together. Wait, I, I don't mean to come off as clingy or anything. Ugh, it's all this romance in the air. I don't know how to deal with it. Still, if it's just for one evening, we can lean into it, right? Makoto and I spent some time alone together. Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. <laughs> do, do, do I have to? Okay. Off you go then. Try not to cry. <laughs> okay. Well, Sojiro. Saying goodbye to me. Oh, cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back, you hear? I don't want you forgetting anything important here. That reminds me. Maybe I should give Sojiro my probation diary. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. The Diary of the Phantom Thieves' Leader, huh? Probably gonna be worth a lot someday. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Well, we've all been through a lot, but it seems like everything's changed for the better. Try to behave yourself back home, would you? <laughs> Not like you ever listened to me, anyway. Here, I want you to have these. I've got them memorized already. With that stuff, you can make the same... Well, no, that'd be a waste. Put your own spin on the flavor. Develop it. Make it yours. Come on, you should get going. You still got things to do, right? Butaba. Man, I can't believe you're really going home tomorrow. I'm sure it'll be lonely, but you'll do great. Even after we're dead and gone, we'll still be the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> what, right? what do you mean after we're dead and gone? You're like 15. <laughs> Okay. Hey. By the way, you got a notification on your phone. Who's it from? Oh, I do want to meet up. I have to swing by the college to submit some paperwork. Would you be able to meet up before that? There's something I want to give you. I'm at Shujin right now, so let's meet up at the Aoyama Ichiyome Station platform. Yep, sure. To bother you when you're so busy, but I wanted to see you before you left. It won't be long until I'm living alone, too. We'll both have to get used to the quiet. We can see each other anytime. Really? I guess I have something to look forward to then. My sister and I are actually going to go look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me, but nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. Of course, I'd never have gotten to this point alone. You gave me the push I needed. Back then, I was just another honor student. Ayama Meeting Ichome. you helped me change how I define Ayama myself. Calculator. I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy. But I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. And I hope it'll comfort you when I can't be there myself. It doesn't matter if we're far apart. Our hearts will be as close as ever. And that'll help me keep fighting. Hmm. All right. Um... Uh-huh. 
All right, sure. Um, <laughs> the school gate. Oh, <laughs> what a coincidence. I'm about to give a lecture. Did you come to see the campus? You're going back home tomorrow, right? Make sure you keep up your studies there, okay? I'll work hard. You are preparing for your entrance exams, after all. Let me know if there's anything you need, okay? This is the last time we'll see each other for a while. You can at least look a little sad about it. I'm kidding. Honestly, seeing you so happy gives me peace of mind. Now that you're heading out into the world, I've got a present for you. Unlimited service. Hmm. It sounds like the setup to a joke. A student bumps into his teacher in a full French maid outfit. But somehow, that opened up all kinds of new paths in my life. You taught me so much. You're not just my best student. You were a great master. I can make up for all the times I distanced myself from my students. I'll help anyone who needs it. The point is, I'll put in the work. I learned a lot from you, and I won't let that go to waste. Mm-hmm. Uh, we weren't done here, the clinic. Oh, hey. You're going home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. <laughs> you can see your smile now. Yeah, I can't wait. It's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here, I want you to have this. A dog tag. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? Okay. Is there anyone else around here in the back streets? Oh, sigh. You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? <laughs> Still trying to catch me? <laughs> right. I'm taking you in. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. Remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. Okay. Um, then Shibuya. Anyone here? Hmm? Hmm. Uh, doesn't look like it. Wait, is that the arcade, right? Yeah. Hmm? Why does it not show, like, UI as a Yo. thing? Man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but... Instead, you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Be sure to come by. Don't even have to ask. I was already going to do that. Spring break is going to be boring as hell anyway. Wait a sec. Your hometown isn't near the countryside, is it? I was just thinking it'd be great to run a train somewhere out where it's all big, nature open space. Honestly, even with the rehab... I don't know if my leg's ever going to be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm going to get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. 
See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. Man, when I think about going to school without you guys, I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man. Mm hmm. Um. There's someone in the underground walkway. Yusuke. Oh, that's right. You'll be departing tomorrow. It's sad to see this as a season of farewells, but I didn't expect we'd all go our separate ways. It was one hell of a year. <laughs> that's putting it mildly. This time last year. I'd never have imagined I'd meet you all, leave my home, or become a phantom thief. Do you remember the painting I submitted to that competition? Desire and hope it was. Yes. Well, I would like to bestow it upon you as a parting gift. Hmm. As of now, my canvas is still blank. It's not for lack of inspiration. There's so much I want to express, I can barely contain my passion. But my heart has not led me astray yet. I'll paint as it guides me. Even should I scar my work with doubt, hesitation, chaos. Certainly, that's a beauty all its own. Your life is no worse for its own scars. Your truest beauty lies in them. And I hope you tell me their stories someday. Yes, I will tell you. Um, I mean, surely he's in the airsoft shop. Yeah. Yo, I heard you're going home tomorrow. Later. I suppose we'll end our deal then. Forget about the job. Take care, kid. Ah. Okay, so probably you only really get those <sighs> bigger uh, goodbyes with confidence that you've maxed out. And I didn't for EY. Barely. But I didn't. There's no one in Kichi, Georgie. I mean, I guess there wasn't... <sighs> Oh, surely. Surely. Wait, is that not... No, that's not where the church is. Never mind. Church is in Kanda. Yeah. Okay. Chihaya. Oh, it's exactly as the card said. You came to visit me. In your current state, you should be fine. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Please be sure to relax once you're home. Well, to make up for all the hard work you did here. I've been receiving encouragement from my clients lately. Even though I should be the one encouraging them. Strange, isn't it? But perhaps that's the truest form of fortune telling there is. Mutually encouraging each other to find happiness in a world full of tangled, painful fates the kind of comfort I've always hoped to provide in my readings. Here, this card represents your future. Please, take it as a good luck charm. An upright fortune card represents happiness to come, but it's an omen of doom when reversed. But I know you'll carry on with the same conviction you've always had. You were never one to fear the future. That's how you managed to bring joy to any fate. So? I'm sure we'll meet again. Though, that's not based on any augury. Just a personal wish. Okay. Then... We'll go Kanda first. Oh, you came to visit. You're going home tomorrow, correct? To tell you the truth, I have an important shogi tournament tomorrow as well. I'll be cheering you on. Thank you very much. If I do well, that will make it ten straight wins. I'll work hard so I can give you a good report. That's quite a smile. Like a knight standing victorious at the end of a grand siege. But I suppose a knight can't remain idle for too long. His presence is still needed elsewhere, I take it? If my shogi skills have truly helped such a dauntless champion, then it has been an honor and a pleasure. From one player to another, I have a parting gift for you. The lance piece moves exclusively forward. Until it is promoted, it can only move onward, never back. So let us continue on our own paths, even if we have to part ways for now. One day, when the two of us lances have been promoted, 
we will retrace our steps and meet again. Okay, we will do that. Oh. 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 So you're finally heading home tomorrow, huh? I guess this means the Phantom Thieves have disbanded. My documentary script is going well, though. It's not really close to done, but it's coming along. <laughs> When's the release date? <sighs> There's still so much to do. I don't want to think about that right now. But just because I don't have a time limit doesn't mean I'm slacking off. I want to do this right. Makes me wonder how many people I can reach with my work. It's exciting, but kind of scary too. It might be a bestseller, or it might just fade into obscurity. But I want to put my hope into this. It's a message from the old me to everyone in the world. So, even if I'm scared of failing, I'll face this head on. Just like you did with that first calling card. Oh yeah, it's still a pretty early draft, but... Hmm. It'd mean a lot if you could read it sometime. I could really use your feedback. You probably had tons of crazy fights I don't even know about, right? So, we should sit down and talk about them sometime. The more of it I get on record, the better. I'll make sure the story of the Phantom Thieves goes down in history. Yep, of course it will. Is that everyone? I think so. Well, I guess then we go back home. Are you really sure? Yep. Hey, um, I actually have a present for you too. Morgana Scar. When I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or mm. some kind of vehicle, it's been hard to say for sure who or what I am. But whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. We were never in doubt. You're a cat. Well then. We should probably go home and get packed, huh? You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? <laughs> it's hard to say. I see. I guess you did almost die. Plus, whatever other crazy stuff I don't know about. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. <laughs> I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me. I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh. It really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro's stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? <laughs> Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. Isn't it the other way around? That's not true. I'll take really good care of him. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you. For everything. Hey, you got everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. You too. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, and sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off, too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning, though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? Hmm. <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Thank you for everything. Yeah.
you over there! Hey, look this way! <laughs> after we said hmm? we'd disband. We are all in break after all. No more entrance exams. Mm. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Uh. Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Dr. Maruki? Hmm. You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> Should we? <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? There's no charge. Oh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <sighs> Good luck. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! I wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure <laughs> to eat well. We'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. <laughs> all right, it's mm -hmm. time. Yeah. Aw, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my <laughs> dude! I'll text you, okay? Come on, sit down. So I don't know if I just missed something, but who are they that are following them? <laughs> because I have no idea. taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? <laughs> Told you I was coming with you. Ooh. <laughs> Take care. And there go the credits. I feel like that's the best way of doing credits if you want people to actually sit through them and not just skip them. To sort of intersect um, them with sort of scenes from after the it's not really after the game the credits are rolling but you know kind of just scenes are like hey this is what the characters are doing now after you've just finished the game I wasn't expecting to get done with the game today when I started recording like an hour and 15 minutes ago because, you know, I looked up that the game goes until like the end of March. Not about what happens, but just until when the game continues. 
Um, so I thought, like, we've still got one and a half months left. I don't know what we're doing in them. Maybe just finishing off confidence or something like that. But I didn't think it would just skip through most of it. Uh, but yeah, I mean, not that I'm really complaining. The game has had quite enough uh, in terms of content. And it's gone on for a long time. I don't know, what, what episode is this? Like 180 or something like that? It's a lot of episodes. But, yeah, it was, it was an enjoyable time. I don't know if I... Like, if once Persona 6 comes out, probably in like 3-4 years or something like that, and then it'll take... I don't know how long until I could play it. Uh, I don't know if I'd do a playthrough of it again on the channel because it is a very, very long project. Um, but we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I had a fun time though. Can I skip through this part now? Or can I just not skip it anyway? I'm pressing every button, so I think I probably just can't. So, I might just skip through it in editing and cut that part out until we're done. And there the credits are finally over. You can't skip through them, by the way. I looked it up while I was waiting. They're unskippable. Are they actually over there? Yes. There is an after credit scene as well, of course. Oh. Hmm. The end. So is a catchy alive or not? We will never know. He shouldn't be. But maybe he is. Loading your clear data will allow you to inherit some of your progress on a new playthrough. Yes. Completed. 114 hours and 16 minutes. I think there was one time where I let the game running for like an hour or two while I was doing something else, but mostly that's just the amount of playtime. So yeah, that will be it. So, I had a fun time playing through it. I don't know yet what I'll play next, um, but I guess I'll figure it out. So, I hope you enjoyed watching too. Thanks for doing so. Thanks for following along. And yeah, I hope to see you guys again in another project next time. Till then, bye.